live, let's have a look. Yes, we are live. So good morning. If you're coming in, give me a hello. If you're on replay, just let me know. So cupcake in the bath is the um, title of what I want to talk about yesterday. So yesterday, um, got home from taking the kids to their swimming lessons and it's almost always like quick bath later than normal. And um, they did have a, a cupcake made for them each. So they were like, oh yeah, we, can we have the uh, cupcake in the bath? And I was like, if they said, can I have a carrot or an apple in the bath, what would you say? And I said, in my head, I was thinking, I would say yes, you can. So I was like, yeah, you can take the cupcake in the bath. And there's thoughts going on in my head thinking, is that the right thing to encourage? Am I encouraging that? You know, there's no rule book of parenting, even when it comes to food. And you know, food's a very close thing to me um, in terms of the relationship with it. And I know how, given my background, anorexia, how of a tightrope it is between encouraging healthy choices and not. And um, so I was like, yeah, you can have the cupcake in the bath. It's interesting. They're in the bath and it's there. They just start playing. They get out of the bath and literally the cupcake was like nibbled. Um, and it's quite interesting. It's almost like the idea of having it is better than having the thing itself. And especially one of them, she'll, she always like, oh yeah, they have an ice cream, yeah. And then she'll just like, yeah, oh, I can have it. So it's almost like not a big thing. And it, it's similar when I, um, it happened the other week. We had a cupcake, um, a cake made on the side. And they were like, oh, can we, oh, we want some of that. They saw it before dinner, which is my, I left it on the side. Um, and I was like, right, now it's either going to be an argument or I might as well just put a buffet out. There's cake and there's also just dinner. And it's so interesting what they do. They're like picking, a, like the, having like a, uh, um, like a bit of cheese, dipping a carrot in camembert and cheese in camembert and then going to have a bit of cake. Like really random selection. It's just really interesting to watch them. And my point in this is, is that idea of permission. Is it? I don't know for sure. Is it because of age? But if you look at a toddler, you know, three-year-old, five-year-old, they don't have that that massively reward mechanism put in with food in terms of it makes them feel a certain way or they believe it makes them feel a certain way. And when they have permission to have it, it seems like sometimes that they're not as bothered about it. But I know for a fact, if I'd have said, no, you can't have the cupcake in the bath, <laughs> it'd have probably been a massive Im issue. And then would that contribute to then, then every opportunity to get a cupcake would be more of a, yes, I've got to get that cupcake. And it's, and it's a, I'm sharing this from a point of view of where do we do this as adults with our own diets, of our own nutrition set? We, you know, we do, we're on perfect Monday to Friday and I completely go off the rails. And in the grand scheme of things, and I got someone to do this the other week, just to write down, not even using an app because I didn't want to use, be a technophobe. They are a technophobe. They admit that. Um, just to write down everything for three days for me and note down their calorie intake next to it. And it made them realise that having a hot cross bun wasn't as the end of the world, wasn't as bad as they thought. And actually their response to it was then better. So they made a better informed decisions. And now it's almost like, well, I can have it. It's less of an issue now. I'm not, oh, can I have it? Can I have it? And this isn't something that is can be built in overnight. This is about facts from feelings in terms of nutrition versus what we've been told in media. You can't eat that if you want to lose weight. You have to eat cottage cheese and lettuce. All of those things. And yes, there's other a lot more into this in terms of trigger foods, in terms of comfort eating, in terms of stress, in terms of food environment. If there's always cupcakes around you, yes, you may have an issue because there's cupcakes everywhere. And one of the things I try and do is when we come home from school, for example, is always have like healthier options readily available. Literally in the car on the way home, I nearly always have carrots. They'll eat anything, carrots, apple, like they're just literally like ravenous. And they get used to it. And they're like, yeah, or you know, 
baby bowels, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Something like that's like really like a bit more nutritious than sweets and cake. But uh, at the same time, it's about that permission when they're there as well. So getting that balance is key. Anyway, I hope that helps. Happy Friday. As always, any questions, let me know on that. Our March kickstart is starting flexible start date this week and next week. Um, a few more ladies starting today. So if you want more information on that, just give me a message below. Devises, Marlborough, in person, our Lady Journey Studios, or all from home. And I'll see you soon. Take care.